The following is a paid program and does not necessarily reflect the views or ideas of the staff or management of KWSH or the 110 Broadcast Group. Estongo Seminologi Jeremy Fultz Cheho Jifkados and Mojinita Hadam Nita Hidojan Popohoyan. I am going to be your host, Jeremy Fultz, today on the Seminole Nation radio program. And alongside of me is my good friend, Anhisidos Delaney Pinnock. Yes, Jay. How are you doing today, Delaney? Oh, enjoying this rain. Oh, we can. it sure is coming down outside, isn't it? Yeah, they said we're going to get a few days of this, so better enjoy it while we can for the drought. You know, the um, they said the rain's supposed to the last, what, to tomorrow about this time? Is that right? Yep. And so enjoy it because I'm sure... <laughs> This may be the last one we get for a while. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be hot, and probably tomorrow is probably gonna get really humid too after it's done. Yeah. And then I think summer's gonna be upon us, and we're gonna be is, missing it. We're gonna be like, you remember those couple days when it rained? Oh man, I, I sure do miss them days. Be sitting outside around that uh, that uh, around those fires and. Trying to dance all night and be like, well, I wish we had some rain. Or I some, wish it was 70. Yeah, I wish it was 70 <laughs> instead of 105 right now. So, <laughs> so it's a good day out there. Today is Tuesday. It's top of the hour at 11 a.m. We are here in Seminole, Oklahoma at the KWSH studio. We're live coming to you in the radio dial this morning. And we have some news today. But kind of like Tradio was this morning and kind of like um, our announcements have been today, I think the rain's just kind of making everyone slow down just a little bit mm-hmm. and maybe enjoy it. You know, it, it was kind of hard waking up this morning because I heard that rain and it, boy, it sure did sound good. And just open those windows up a little bit. I know. I know. So what'd you do this weekend, Delaney? Not a whole lot. Stayed in. You know, I... Me and my Hoktaji, we went and saw The Lion King, the, mu- the musical, yeah. at the Oklahoma City something something Pavilion, Civic Center, so, you know, one of them places. <laughs> Civic Center. I saw B.B. King there. That's how I know. <laughs> but the Civic Center. And it was a pretty pretty good show. Really? I've seen a lot of people going and watching that. Yeah. So same, same stuff I've been hearing. I had an aisle seat. And not to make any spoilers, so if you haven't seen the, sh- the TV show or the movie, The Lion King, you might plug your ears. But when it's about animals in Africa, mm-hmm. I had an aisle seat, and I about tripped an elephant when they were coming down the aisle. Because <laughs> <laughs> the elephants are on stilts in, in person. Well, I didn't know. I was like, oh, look, at about knocked over an elephant. About ruined it for everybody. Boy, it, the show was about to have a quick quick exit there after that but we we all pulled it back together we all uh, recouped and it was a great show and enjoyed ourselves hooked had a good time and um yeah it was, a, it was a pretty good pretty good little show but yeah like we said we saw i saw bb king at the civic center one time what was the best concert you ever been to was it indigenous nation day <laughs> <laughs> Los no. Lonely Boys, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It was packed, man. Yeah, I remember when Los Lonely Boys was at Seminole Nation days. Yeah. And, you know, that that's a good segue into some breaking news that we have. Oh, what could that be? You know, from the debt, we have breaking news for the top of the hour. do 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 That's 11.04, ladies and gentlemen. And from the desk of Chief Lewis J. Johnson, it's official. Seminole Nation Days is back on. All right. 
Uh, Let's do it. Let's clap it up. I get to see Dim Sajots out there again. <laughs> Dim- <laughs> <laughs> Dennis with the Jeopardy music. That, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> so who are some of the best people you've seen out at Seminole Nation Days? Besides Indigenous <laughs> and Los Lonely Boys. <laughs> that's all I remember. What was that? Lo- the local band. Oh, 99 Nine, South? 99 South. I thought they was pretty They're good. They pretty good, yeah. I know one of the guitarist guys on there. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really remember too much. Drummer, we know the drummer. Drummer, yeah. yeah. Who's that? Cynthia Yerby's yeah. son? Yeah. yeah. Matt. Matt. Matt Yerby. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah. I don't really yeah. re- recall too many. Mike Bone. Mike Bone. <laughs> I don't know if they were out there. They they probably were. Oh, it was yeah. just yeah. I remember COVID. Keese and Culture Camp, Culture Shot Camp was out there one year, probably a few years ago, probably longer than a few years ago, probably like ten, fifteen years ago. <laughs> Steve Williams, guitar player from Shawnee, was out there one year. I remember because I snuck backstage for that one. I probably shouldn't have said that on the radio that I snuck backstage to see my friend play guitar, but <laughs> it, it was some good times, but. From the desk, like we said, of Chief, it's official. It's back on. Seminole Nation Day is coming the third weekend of September. So go ahead and mark it down in your calendars. Get some vendors. Get ready. There. Get some vendors. They said if you want to set up, go ahead and start calling in the office. Did they give a number yet? Not yet. Not yet. So um, if you want to just go ahead and start trying to get in contact with someone, uh, was it 257-7200? <laughs> Um, leave a message or uh, get in contact with someone and we'll have someone give you a call back. So someone's very important over there. That someone (laughs) that's taking all them calls is going to be very important. So other than that, let's go ahead and talk about the fourth and eighth Sunday church meetings coming up. Like we say every week, some of these churches may not be having services because of the virus or deaths in their family but however uh, the ones that we have note of are going to be Artisy, Beaver, Bemo, Bird Creek, Community IBC, Buckeye Creek, Deep Fort Columbia, Hickory Ground Number 2, Little Casita, Mikasuki, Miller Creek Number 2, Matazoma, Ofusky, Pecan Grove, Rock Spring, Sasakwa, Sand Creek, Ufala, Toma Jesse, And then Wetumpka Indian Baptist Church, those are all scheduled for this weekend, May 29th. And like I said, if you go and eat, eat some for us, but call someone that you know first. Make sure that they're having services this weekend. Sometimes churches will partner up and go to um, another church to go visit. And so um, we hope you enjoy your time out there. And then also every week we talk about the ones that have started their journey. And there's a a lot of families um, that experienced some losses this week. And so we want to remember the Shaw family, the Cloud and Carbitcher families, Harjo families, and whole other families uh, throughout the Seminole Res this week. And then everyone else that we didn't mention, we want to remember them as well. And so like we do every week about this time, we're going to go ahead and take a moment of silence in remembrance of the ones that have started their journey. Mado, mado, mado. And so on to the news of the nation, straight from the government, like we mentioned at the top of the hour from the desk of Chief Lewis Johnson, it's official. Seminole Nation Days is back on. And so there are some rumors about some bands. Mark, are we able to release those? Oh, we are not able to release those yet. And so just disregard what I just said. However, on Tuesday, there was a special call meeting um, at the Seminole Council House at the Mikasuki Mission. Delaney, you want to go ahead and go through these? The unfinished business will go through the agenda to let you know what passed or what failed. So on TR 2022-14, a tribal resolution is Seminole Nation of Oklahoma approving a one-time appropriation of $8 million from the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021 funds. To the Miccosukee Mission Water Infrastructure Development and Wastewater Management System projects. That fell 11 yes, 12 no to abstain. TR 2022 46, a resolution approving the acceptance of the opioid class action settlement and authorizing the Office 
of the chief to complete the submission process to secure the Seminole Nation's allocation of the opioid class action settlement, and that passed 25 Yes, zero, no, zero, abstain. TR 2022-47, a tribal resolution confirming the appointment of Glenn Sharp to the Gaming Enterprise Board. That failed with eight yes, 17 no, and zero abstains. TR 2022-48, resolution approving the Tribal Court Children's Advocacy Program budget for fiscal year 2022 and the corporation into the fiscal year 2022 comprehensive budget. And that passed 24 yes, zero no, zero abstain. And then in other business, TR 2022-49, introduced by Office of the Chief, a resolution of Seminole Nation of Oklahoma General Counsel, authorizing the executive office by and through the program development department to prepare and submit grant applications to the National Tele Telecommunication and Information Administration, NTIA, Broadband Fiber to the Home Project Connectivity Program Funding Opportunity. And that passed 22 yes, zero no, three abstentions. And then that was the end of the night with the prayer and adjournment by Chief Johnson. And that ended at 7.42 p.m. on Tuesday. And um, that was it for the general council meeting now they look forward to the quarterly meeting that's going to be coming up um next month so all right some department news i think that's all we have from the executive office and from the government here and so let's go ahead and get into department news the senior games will be held may 27th and for any Native American adult over the age of 55, lunch will be provided for all those who participate in the game. And the flyer is attached. The Ajulagi Pride Preventing and Reducing Indian Diabetes Everyday Program presents the 12th Annual Senior Games. Events include Fun Walk, Dart Throw, Horseshoes, Softball, softball Throw, Jacks, Beanbag Toss, Washer Toss, Ladder Toss, Exercise bingo, prizes for the winners, and other game activities. And so bring your 12-foot ladders, they said, and go ahead and we'll toss them as far as we can. And hopefully everyone will stay safe that day. Also, <laughs> brown, brown bag. Also, fish. don't bring those 12-foot ladders. <laughs> Again, that's going to be Friday, May 27, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And those categories include 55 to 59, 60 yeah. to 64, 65 to 69, and 70 and above. Again, that's going to be at the Seminole First Baptist Church, 420 Reed Street, Seminole, Oklahoma, 74868. Oh, no. Also, the brown bag fitness put on by a diabetes program has been canceled today due to weather. So that was at the complex. So that's every... That was Tuesdays and Thursdays held at the complex, but Monday and Wednesdays at the Chafikni. So Monday through Thursday. So Monday and Wednesday at Chafikni, starting at 12. Get on out there, get some exercise in. Yeah. Monday you go out to Chafikni. Tuesday you go to the complex. Yeah, Wednesday you go back out to Chafikni. Thursday back out to the complex. But today don't go out there because you're not having it. Don't go out there. And to get in contact or to sign up, or if you have questions about any of the events that Diabetes is putting on, uh, get in contact with Jerome Harrison. His phone number, 405-234-5247. And, you know, I've had a lot of friends, a lot of my elder friends message me on Facebook, kind of just asserting that they're going to win some of these elder okay, games like they're already ready they're pumped and ready to go so looking forward to they it. So are seems yeah. like it was a lot of fun the one they held in uh, creek nation yeah i think they did that was that last week last week sometime yep and so we had some friends go up there and i think they're gonna come here too and compete so yep. i saw i saw one elder game this guy was 82 years old and he ran the 100 yard dash in like 14 seconds what <laughs> That's, I, was, I couldn't even run a 100-yard dash in under 20 seconds when I was young. I don't think I can run it at all. No, no. And they, they they showed the whole video, and that, that guy looked just like a sprinter, he man. Took he off. took off. And, <laughs> but communications, the second round of graduate announcements is coming soon, they said. 
And so keep your eye open. And then on Facebook, on the Community and Events Facebook page, get a good look at some of them young ones graduating, coming up in the professional world. Um, high school and college and trade schools, they're all on the Community and Events Facebook page. And so take a good look at them. You might be seeing them working for us. You never know. Yep. That's the future. Right. Here's some news from Haskell Indian Nations University. All fees waived for summer 2022, fall 2022, and spring noise, 23. Noise. All fees. I said that, and Jeremy corrected me last week, but I guess I was reading it wrong last week. But No, yeah. there's still that $10 application. Oh, fee. yeah, that's, that's not all fees, so you can handle that. So application deadline, June 1st for fall 2022, so get those apps in. You know, what What would it really help me out when I was in school, getting ready to go to college, <laughs> ACT and SAT scores are waived. Now, I don't know what that means in reality, but for <laughs> me, that would have meant a lot because I could have went to Haskell. Yeah. I don't even think I got accepted to Haskell when I was. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> no entrance essay also. That's a lot of stuff. They're just saying, come on in, give you a chance. You might like it. Who knows? You never know. Never know. Come try it out. I've got some cousins that's going up to Haskell right now. They they seem to enjoy it. They mm -hmm. may not come back, they said. They might just stay up there in Lawrence. So, All right, the Benny Gibson Memorial Scholarship. Every year, Norman First American UMC awards at least two scholarships as part of the Benny Gibson Memorial Scholarship. They invite all Native Americans who will be enrolled in higher education for the 2022-23 school year to apply for these funds. They are especially interested in those who are active in the Native community, particularly their faith community and those who have strong or who have strong demonstrated financial need. There is no formal application, rather just a letter addressing the requested information below is sufficient. Proof of school enrollment is required to receive the fund. And the uh, award amounts range from $500 to $1,000. This uh, scholarship notice is also on the Community and Events Facebook page. And if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to call 405-561-1660. And again, that's for the Benny Gibson Memorial Scholarship. Oh, Dennis, do you by chance happen to have a button that when you push it, might play a little good did you know music you know music that makes you think a little bit music that makes you want to look at your friend like delaney pinnock and go delaney <laughs> did you know in november 1817 u.s forces led by general andrew jackson attacked the seminole village in the area of foul town and later attacking a Seminole camp on the Sewanee River, thus beginning the Seminole War. The United States gained control of Florida territory from Spain in the Transcontinental Treaty in 1819. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your historic preservation office. Did you know? Fact of the day. Hey, guess I got it. Yeah. And you can check out their Facebook page, the Seminole Nation Historic Preservation facebook page every day for facts videos presented by jake tiger ben Yahola, and then their new um, director ted underwood's over there as well now and so some good information coming out from the historic preservation office did you know the spanish had control of florida at one point yeah you did yeah oh, okay <laughs> at one point they did yeah no what what was the the conqueror's name? Yep. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> getting outside of my room. Let's talk a little bit about, about, about language. I, I might be quiz. okay, but talk about history. I might be off. It's a lot off of us are a, a lot of us are Spanish. So, yeah, what was that, Mark? Coronado, wasn't it? Cor yeah, Coronado. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah, Coronado. <laughs> Coronado. Yeah. So we have some news from the honor guard. <laughs> They're needing your guys' help if you're an honorable discharge. So call up Rex Haley at 405-220-5342. Yeah, Rex said that since um, COVID started, they've done 114 funerals, and they are needing help. And they they literally try not to say no to any requests that they mm -hmm. get. 
And so they are on the go all the time. And, you know, we attended the funeral last week where we seen an honor guard um, present the colors and uh, to the family and do the, the 21 gun salute. And so, you know, it's very important. I know it means a lot to the families when, you know, other service members come out and they show their support for their, um, you know, fellow who has uh, departed this life, you might say. And so if you are any service member with an honorable discharge, like Delaney said, give them a phone call. Even if you just have a question or may not want to help, but may be able to help once in a while, I'm sure Rex would appreciate it. They just want to get their roster, I think, a little bit. Um, they have a little bit more people there to be able to help out. And so uh, give them a phone call again, 405-220-5342. And then also the Pawnee Indian Veterans 76th Annual Homecoming Powwow, June 30th through July 3rd at the Pawnee Football Field, 603 Memorial Road, Pawnee, Oklahoma. And... For more information on that powwow, you can contact uh, Pius Spotted Horse Chief, 918-399-1138, or Vice President Marlon Miller, 918-399-3581. All right. Housing Authority has a couple of jobs opening here. Housing Service Specialist, not going to, Program Manager for the Boys and Girls Club. So if you're interested in that, give them a call at 405 405- Two five seven six six zero four. It's Housing Authority. And then ICW. Did you know? I got another. Did you know? No. But we don't need no music for this one. Dennis was ready. I see. No, I, I see Dennis it. ready see? over there with that button. <laughs> but ICW today, or I guess this month, May, is Foster Care Awareness Month. Did you know that, Delaney? Get like up. And to make a difference, if you want to make a difference in some of these kids that are in the system you can reach out to the Seminole Nation Indian Child Welfare Department because foster parents are needed all across the res and even off the res and so you can make a difference in the Seminole child's life who can apply to be a foster parent I can tell you who can apply you can apply you you must be 21 years of age must own or rent your own home must have income to meet your financial needs must be in good health, have sufficient space and beds, pass a background check, fingerprint check, and must not have a prior child welfare history. But persons who are Seminole Indian tribal members, citizens, and reside in Oklahoma, or persons who are tribal members of a federally recognized tribe and reside in Seminole County may apply to be a foster home. The Seminole Nation maintains a tribal state foster care agreement with Oklahoma DHS, with this agreement, ICW approves foster homes, and our approved homes receive reimbursement for child's care in the form of a monthly compensation amount depending on the child's age. So if you are willing to open your heart and your home, please contact the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma Indian Child Welfare Program. You can contact Elizabeth, Elizabeth Bible, who is the foster care manager, 405-257-9038. All right, we got a summer youth program put on by the Potawatomis. If you're looking for a summer job and you're youth, hey, come out, get paid. Yep. There's not too much you have to do. You just have to be 16 years or older, mm-hmm. be a part of a federally recognized tribe. So if you're mm-hmm. Seminole and you're enrolled, check mark. There you go. Must reside in one of the following counties, Potawatomi, Payne, Lincoln, Cleveland, Seminole County. Mm-hmm. Or Oklahoma, east of Post Road. So east of all that construction up on I-40. Must have a complete WSS application. And I think that's just a, uh application from CPN that you fill out. And you must be vaccinated, fully vaccinated. So two shots. So if you have right. any questions, 405-878-5444. Come work with the language department. Yeah, yeah. We we put our um, our notice in that we would be willing to take in one or two of the Utes mm-hmm. out there, and if they wanted to come learn a little bit of language while they're working with us, that's we can do that too. You can contact uh, Emma Wesley Harjo also, right? Yeah, if you had any questions, contact Emma Wesley Harjo with the JP and T uh, department four zero five two three four five two eight eight. 
No one knows. Seminole Nation Division of Commerce looking for Native American personnel to help with lawn mowing this season. Experience with zero turn mowers. That's a plus. Contact Sendoc. 405-382-3562. an hour. You got to be at least 18. I'm so. surprised you didn't stop reading that and fold it up and put it in your back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those things are fun to ride <laughs> once you learn how to control them. Yeah, but if you have a big stomach like I do, it's kind of hard to back up to on back one up. of them things. <laughs> <laughs> Free financial coaching available to tribal citizens since June 2020 with the grant support from the Wells Fargo Foundation. The Oklahoma Native Assets Coalition have offered three types of free financial coaching to tribal citizens across the U.S. One, credit counseling. Two, home buyers education. Three, financial management. And so if you would like this survey or this flyer is on the Community and Events Facebook page. And there's a Survey Monkey link that you can go and register and have some of these uh, services provided to you. All right, Transit, do you need any kind of ride in Seminole County? Yes, I do. Call, I do need a ride. Call Seminole Nation Transit at 405-294-3674 to schedule a ride. Yeah, they'll take you to the store, to the grocery store, to the shop, go buy some clothes. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're not going to buy them for you. They'll, oh, they'll, take, they'll take you... They'll take you to Sharps or wherever you want to go. There's one place they won't take you, though. Yeah, that's true. Casino. Yep. All right, right, (laughs) 405-294-3674. Again, if you need a ride in Seminole with Seminole Nation Transit. All right. And then jobs. We have some job openings here with the nation. Um, ASAP, BCR, child care, communications, court, domestic violence, enrollment, food distribution, Head Start, Indian Child Welfare, IT, job placement and training, language, Delaney. There's a language job opening. Well, I think we said this last time. If you want to be our boss, if you want to work with us, apply. Light horse, maintenance, OAP, transportation, vehicle maintenance, wildlife parks, and recreation. And then also with SeminoNation.Casino, if you want to work with the casino, receiving clerk department, slot attendant, gaming technician, a lot of jobs, manager on duty, uh, give them a, give them your application. And also for Sendoc. Sendoc.applicantpro.com for your jobs. And then also an employment opportunity for licensed EMTs and paramedics. An opening at the native operated business. A new, oh, that's a big old word, plasma phoresis operation in Norman. You may go to www.kedplasma.com for the position of physician substitute. And I'll make it easier for you. This is also on the Seminole Nation Community and Events Facebook page. And so if you want to try to, that, that word as well, I mean. You get, did a good job. Yeah, you get extra credit for next week's show. All right, and then the, let's talk about our Community and Events Facebook page. A lot of these flyers that you've heard about today is on that page. But there's also other flyers on there. Come show your support for our girls who will be serving tables. And all tips will go to their t- their team at Mazio's. That's today, Tuesday, May 24th from 5 to 8 p.m. And this is for the AET softball team. So I think they're waiting on tables and raising money to – for tournament fees and new team gear. Go support them. Yep, go support them. What we got now? The summer EBT for children. Yep. Who's that for? First American and non-first American students enrolled in participating schools and receiving free and reduced cost school meals. Where do you go to get that at? Um, the Chickasaw Nation Nutrition Services is accepting applications for summer EBT for ch- the children's program. The program provides families with children who are receiving free or reduced cost meals with approximately $35 of free food per child for the month of May, June, and July. Benefits are loaded onto an EBT. Works just like a debit card. So for more information, contact Chickasaw Nation SEBTC at 580-272-1178 or 844-256-3467. 
to go to Meat Pie Sale Oof. for Oklahoma Mambas. That's going to be Thursday, May 26th. Delivery or pickup in Dale from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And that's going to, if you, more info on that, call or text orders to 405-408-8728. Ooh, they put spicy meat pies in red uh, on that one, too. That sounds good. And then also, we had a visit from our friend, former chief Jerry Haney, the other day at the language department. Mm -hmm. And wanted us to announce the Haney family reunion and also, we spoke with Stephanie earlier today. The softball game at, Sasa at the Sasaqua School softball field is at 1 p.m. on Saturday, May 28th. And then I asked Stephanie when we would eat, but she didn't respond back on that no. one. So I, I guess maybe. She didn't want you to go. I guess not. So, <laughs> so again, the Haney Family Reunion softball game, 1 p.m. at Sasaqua Schools. And then the 44th annual camp meeting, the Chosen Generation. Uh, that's coming May 31st through June 4th. Also with the VBS and Chief will be involved with that one as well. And then we have the third annual tournament June 11th um, on behalf of a Seminole Nation tribal member, Mark Jimboy. I guess he is putting on this event for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the tournament that starts June the 11th. If you have any questions, 406-921-0223. And that's going to take place in Purcell. All right, Delaney. Birthdays. All right, birthdays. Shout out to Angela Miller Mack, Priscilla TV, Alicia Harjo, Cheyenne Factor, Goo Mack from Fish Pond, Caitlin Fixico, Eric, Eric Bigfoot Wise, <laughs> Nate Harjo, Mike Tiger, Cena Yesleth, and Eric Flacco. He's going to hit that fight skate full of just. In God. And then you can catch the rebroadcast of this radio show on the Facebook page, YouTube, and tribal website, which is www.sno-nsn.gov. For the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma, every Wednesday around 8 p.m., if you have news or announcements you want to share on the Community and Events Facebook page, please email the communications staff at seminolemedia at gmail.com or call 405 652 Seven two five one, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, tune in every Tuesday at eleven a.m. right here on KWSH ninety seven point seven FM or the legendary twelve sixty a.m. for radio producer Mark Williams, commu communications director Mark Williams, yep, yep. engineer Dennis Burton, and I'm Delaney Finnock. I'm Jeremy Fultz. We'll see you next week, Mado. Jeez,